some of the problems uh, they are asking you only to sketch the region of integration. So for instance, you are given this integration, uh, double integral, and they're asking you to sketch the region of integration. Then what you have to do is just sketch uh, the region and find it out that where the what is the region of integration. So for that, what you need is the xy plane. The second thing is you need to define these limits correctly. Since you can see, the first one is dy, which means these limits are of y, and the second is dx, so these are the limits of x. So we can take the lower limit of x is x is equals to minus 2, the upper limit of x is x is equals to 0. Now the lower limit of y is equals to minus 4 minus x square, which means we are taking only the negative side of y. And the upper limit is y is equals to 0. It means we have to sketch the graph below the, so, so the negative side of y axis is here. So the first thing is x is equals to minus, x is equals to 0 means this whole line on this line x is 0. Wherever you go on this line x is equals to 0 and then x is equals to minus 2. So if I put this minus 1 and that is minus 2 then it will be, you can say, this line. This is x is equals to minus 2. Now y is equals to 0 is this whole line. So this line is x is equals to 0, this line is y is equals to 0, and now you have y is equals to minus square root of 4 minus x square. Now this one is usually hard to understand from the graph, so what you have to do is to understand the, ex the equation. You can say that if I take the square on both sides, it will give me this one. And again, if I take the x square to this side, you can see that this is, if you know simple equations, this is an equation of a circle with radius 2. So I can write 4 as a square of 2, so it means the radius is 2. So that will make a circle of radius 2. So you can either use any of the method or you can say that since this is an equation of a circle, so it has to be a circle of radius 2, so 1 and 2, and then obviously 1 and minus 2, and then again 1 and then 2, so it has to be a circle of radius. But now, if you look at this one, they are asking you only that the y is the negative y. So the negative y starts from this line below. So it means you don't have to plot the above one. So you can remove these ones. So now the sketch is... So where is the uh, the limit of sorry, the area of integration is is this area below this y-axis, which is this one. So you can see the lower limit is this equation. The upper limit is y is equals to 0. The lower limit of x, again, is from minus 2. It starts from minus 2 and goes up to how much? x is equals to 0. So this line is x is equals to 0. It means we do not even require this area. So you have to remove So this is the area of integration. Or what you can do is just sketch all of it. You can sketch all of it just to give an idea that you understand it all, but the region of integration is only this bit. 
we can share the area, the region of integration. So that would give you the idea to the person that you understand it and you have found out the region of integration. Now we need to find out the uh, area of integration, the region of integration of this one is, again you can see that this limit would go here and this limit will go here. So the lower limit of y is equal to 0 and the upper limit is y is equal to 1. The lower limit is x is equal to square root y, which you can write as if I take a square on both sides, that would be x squared is equal to y, which is a parabola. And then the second upper limit is x is equal to y. So now you can see that you can sketch these four lines and find out the region of integration. So x y is equal to 0 is this line and this whole line y is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 is if I say this is 1 this is 2 and so on and then this line x could be anything here y is equal to 1 so the lower limit is this the upper limit is this everything should be in between this now y is equal to x is equal to y. X when x is equal to you can see that this means the value of x and y should be the same. So if x is zero, y is zero. If x is one, y is one. If x is two, y is two. So you can see that this is zero, zero. And if I take this one, this two, three and so on, then this. And this, so you can see that this would be your x is equal to y. Now the third one, the, the this is the upper limit, the lower limit is y is equal to square root y, which is a parabola. So parabola, you know that when x is 0, it starts from here, and then y for plus minus 1, <coughs> y is 1. So if I put x is equal to plus minus 1 square this gives me y is equal to plus minus 1 so if x is 1 y is 1 sorry it gives us plus 1 and if x is minus 1 y is again 1 so this is 1 1 and if this is minus 1 then this is minus 1, 1. So a parabola goes like this. <coughs> it will touch this and goes up and then it will touch this and goes up. So this is your x is equal to square root y. Now this is the lower limit according to this this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit and the lower limit of y is this and the upper limit is this it means that the area that you have to calculate is only this one thank you very much